Hello and welcome to Care Plus Live. This week's theme has been grief and today's message is brought to you by me. Uh, my name is Caitlin Yervis and I've been working with Care Plus since 2014. I currently serve as the Director of Communications and Advocacy um, and I'm also one of our resident yogis and I've been really lucky to have the opportunity to connect and collaborate with many of the people of Care Plus. So for today, I wanted to share my message on grief and how mindfulness and meditation has really been so helpful to me. Um, I lost my father in 2009. It was just a few months before I graduated high school. And I, I was really a pretty resilient kid. I flourished through my senior year. Um, I had too much fun with all my friends that summer. And I went to Pratt Institute in the fall. Um, I experienced complete euphoria that first few weeks of college but it didn't take long for challenges to start to pile up and for my dormant suffering to bubble up to the surface and start to cause all types of problems. Um, I ended up leaving art school after it destroyed any remaining confidence in my heart um, and I transferred to Montclair State University to study psychology. Go Red Hawks! Um, I share this story because it was one of the most painful times in my life. I was not equipped to manage the grief. I didn't know how to connect with mental health support at the time. Um, but luckily, I did find yoga, meditation, and mindfulness, which really became life-saving life practices for me. Um, as I've been teaching yoga the last few years, I found that despite the popular perception, it's not all sunshine and rainbows. It's really not. Um, what these practices do is help us to build our tolerance to sit with our suffering, to sit with our pain, our fear, our grief, our longing, and learn to absorb, observe those sensations without identifying with them. When we stop repressing those emotions, we learn to uncover these knots within ourselves, and we're able to start to soften and untie those knots so that we can start to feel a deeper sense of peace, well-being and happiness. So for today, uh, I just wanted to share one simple practice that you can do to help build your resilience um, to suffering and to dissolve these deeper tensions that, that may exist, whether it's from our current shared experience or past trauma and past experiences. Um, bottom line is, is this simple practice can't hurt. So the three-part breath is, is a popular practice. Um, and often we hear like, take a deep breath and calm down. And it doesn't usually work, right? Um, but this type of breathing, a three-part breath, actually massages the vagus nerve in the body. So it creates a physiological response to stress and fear. And before I, I share that practice, I just want to really um, emphasize the the paralyzing effect that fear, stress, and grief can have. Because whether or not we're actually in danger, if we think we're in danger, if we think we're not safe, if we think that we have something to fear, our body does go into that protective mode, the, the stress response, to ensure that we're ready to, to fight off the danger. But so often, we're not actually in danger. So we go into this stress response, and then that tension gets stuck and frozen in our body. So this breath and a lot of the other practices associated with meditation and mindfulness and yoga um, helps to release those deep-seated tensions that are really wreaking havoc on our, on our well-being. So for a three-part breath, first I'm gonna ask you to completely exhale. And when you're done exhaling, exhale a little more. And then as you breathe in, notice if it fills your belly or your chest, the breath. And exhale all the way again. With this next inhale, really work to fill the belly like a beach ball. And then exhale. And maybe you even start to visualize your lungs, right? The bottom third of the lungs inflating into the ribs, all the way up to the collarbones. Hold the breath here for a moment and then exhale from the top, the middle, and the bottom. Take a natural full breath in, and exhale all the way. 
So we're gonna do that two more times. Don't underestimate, it's very simple, but it's really changing your brain, it's changing your body. So inhale slowly, fill up to the belly button. Continue the breath, start to expand your rib cage. And in this last sip of air, feel the collarbone spread, feel the breath move beyond even your heart. Feel that expansiveness from the breath and then with an exhale, top, middle, all the way out. One more full breath in. And exhale. We're gonna go through that breath one more time. If you're with me, we're gonna go slowly. We'll pause between. So inhale, fill the bottom of your belly and pause. With the next inhale, continue the breath into the rib cage. And with this last complete breath, fill up all the way to the top of your torso. Imagine your lungs glowing, this radiant white healing energy. And as you exhale, top, middle, and bottom, all that fresh energy travels to the cells, the organs, all the systems of the body. Take a full breath in, pause at the top. And as you exhale, feel yourself land again in your seat, heavy in the sits bones. Feel the length of your spine as the crown of your head reaches for the sky. Shoulders release from the ear, jaw unhinges. Unfurl the eyebrows and allow yourself to simply be here in this space. Witness any feelings, any emotions without judgment. Thank you for joining today. You'll see in this post a few other pieces of information. Oh, you're set that up up here? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. I'll